guys, what's up? Welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy A Telltale Series. We have waited two months for episode three. Two freaking long months. I also went back through and I was like, you know, other people aren't having issues with the music, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it on because, you know, it's awesome music. It's 70s music. Who doesn't like 70s music? That That is always really creepy the way she, he's got his thumb in her mouth and... So, coming soon. It's probably going to be another three months before we get that one. As we waited, Let's see the original one, this one came out, was, this was obviously the first one. Then we waited a month for episode two. Not bad. Then we waited two months for more than a feeling. I guess we're going to be following Gamora and her sister. I can't remember her sister's name. I don't know why I can't remember her name. Really had to think hard on that one, but... I've been waiting, and when I saw the release date when they finally said it, I was like, okay. Got off of work that previously night. On Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. Oh, it's going to do it previously on. That is awesome. I forgot about that. You don't know a lot of <laughs> But before I met you guys, there was someone. <laughs> She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. Yeah, I know you've got a lot on your mind. But that kid you bought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future, you'll use your words instead of your fists. I will, Mom. I promise. Thank you, baby. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy come find me peter i'll be waiting for you I'm waiting to see what it does at this point. I don't want to talk too much. Ow. Did we die and I don't remember it? You're nearly there, Peter. Fuck, I should have gone back and watched my last video to see what the hell was going on. He doesn't have as good a butt as Chris Pratt does. God, do you guys remember record stores? Oh God, VHS is. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? <laughs> Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. Didn't look like a little headache. Nothing I can't handle. Especially with you looking out for me. He doesn't know she I has cancer. Get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. 
I know that's not always easy for you. I'll be a perfect little angel. Like always. <laughs> <laughs> I better hurry back then. I'll be back soon. Walkman. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing anyway? Mm. She's fine. Well, glad to hear it. Both sides? Come back in about an hour and it'll be ready. Hey, Dee Dee! You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. I couldn't help it. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? Give me that. Did I not do it? What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. Wow. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Come on. Let's not do this, man. Do what? We're just talking. You gonna cry now? You done yet? Elephant ears? You must get great reception with those things. Nah, I'm not done. But your mom? She sure is. My dad goes drinking with her doctor. Told him everything. Guess she didn't feel like it was important enough to tell you. <laughs> oh, check it out. Dead woman walking. What's the point? Drugs ain't gonna help. My dad says you're gonna die anyway. My mom's gonna be fine. She just needs the right medicine. Get her some poison. At least then she won't be wasting money trying to get better. Oh, nice. Get out. My dad's gonna out. Sorry, if you insult your elders, you deserve to be fucking hit. You kept your promise. You didn't fight that jerk. I'm proud of you, Peter. Even though I didn't set a very good example. Things he said. I let my emotions get the better of me. I'm sorry you heard that. No, Peter. It's okay. You said you were dying, Mom. Is that true? Find me, please. You're so close, Peter. Oh, God, that'd be so fucking trippy. Uh, his mother has brain cancer, and he didn't. What the Good lord, my fucking phone's just... Wait, that was chapter one. Home. Jesus Christ, they're making these chapters shorter and shorter. My poor phone now does the auto thing where it tells me, Hey, you got an achievement. Well, of course I got a fucking achievement. I was sitting right here doing it. Let me walk. Nebula. Hey. <laughs> Are you okay? Because this temple is really messing with my head. Hello, Gamora. Uh oh. Hey, Gamora. Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. Uh oh. Not Nebula. It's me, Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill. <laughs> uh oh, come on, this Did is I get it? fair. I don't have Got that one. Ooh. 
Ow. Oh, quick time events. I missed them. Is he going to become Gamora? Uh, Focus, Nebula. Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. Be patient, Nebula. You'll get your chance soon enough. So now I need patience, too? Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> that was actually a little impressive. <laughs> Just a little. Oh. I like their swords. I can't. Gamora, you're hurting me. Father. Nebula. You have grown so much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> I do. It has come a long way. What a pleasant surprise. Perhaps being bested by your sister recalled the importance of humility. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora, you were always my favorite, but you have become cold, distant, forcing me to look to Nebula to tighten the slack. Father, I don't think this is a good idea. Nebula isn't ready. She's impulsive, reckless. Do not question my judgment. You have lost any confidence I had in you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care, but if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father, he didn't look happy. Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Sorry I'm being quiet, but... I don't like to get in the middle of their conversations. Yes, this is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Good luck, Nebula. I don't need luck. You trained me for this. 
I won't let you or father down. Let's just do this. See, I kind of want to help her, but... They look like assholes. Almost missed the button. How does he? Oopsie. I almost missed that too. Not paying attention. Good, I don't have to aim. Nebula. Oh, I have to do it. Oh, we just stole the kill. Nebula. Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me. Father will be so upset with me. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. That's not the point though. Father. Uh-oh. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. No. Give it to me. Now. I'm not asking here. Do it. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. Uh-oh. What are you... <gasps> what the fuck? <sighs> I was getting a drink. Oh. Do I have to restart? No, Gamora doesn't die. Uh. Maybe that's just how the flashback worked. Ah, crap. <laughs> Just slaps her. You slapped me. You slapped me. You tried to stab me. So maybe we're even. Perhaps. Uh oh. Well, you're already in position, I don't so. Know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, day was. Yeah, I, uh, I know. Wait. Were you? Did you see all that? My memory? You okay? I never wanted to think of that time in my life again. I've really been trying to let Nebula go. That but doesn't work. That, she thought I was being selfish, taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. I saw what happened. You were just trying to protect her. You can't blame yourself for that. I'm not so sure. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy, despite Thanos 
despite everything, we had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. You can't change the past, Gamora. She is who she is. Mm-hmm. That's exactly it, Peter. Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. Listen, you are my friend. And I don't make friends with failures, okay? I, uh, don't think that's true. Look, the point is, no matter what you did in the past, I will always stand by you. You're awesome. I'm proud to call you my friend. That is so cheesy. <laughs> I know, but I think I've made my point. Now, come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... Weird. Weird. <laughs> oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record nonstop. See, I don't hear it. Still don't hear it. Peter, wait. This place, it seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside, or why it's been drawing us here. Gamora, my mom could be in there. I need to do this. All right, Peter. Oh, my hand is cold, and I put it on my leg. I don't know why it's so cold in here. Oh, it's a casket. Yeah, Peter, your mom's definitely in here. She's not alive. <laughs> Oh, this is terrible. I should go pick up the second movie. It just came out on DVD. I know Derek bought it on digital, but DVD collector stuff. At least the first one. I haven't seen the first one. Do you one. recognize this place? Yep. Yeah. This is where my mom went. This is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Thanks for, uh, for understanding. She's your family, your real family. Oh. I know how much she means to you. Your family too. Peter, say your family too. Peter, you say your damn family too. God damn it, Peter. This is not working. Do I have to? There's no way to look around. I can kind of hear some music, but... I don't have double headset on, so I only have the one ear, so I can hear weird stuff. I hear everything in one ear. Peter, she's dead. Please. Oh, now you're at the back of the church again. Oh, now you're in the temple. What the fuck is with these short chapters? These are all rare achievements because no one's played the game yet. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What are we about to unleash into the world? Peter, no. No, this is Cree. Don't do this. Oh, Peter, you idiot. Now 
not your mom. It's evil. <laughs> that was really. That looked so, so painful. Are you okay? Mantis? Yes. Now that you are here. Not your mom, right? Definitely, Definitely not. not. <laughs> you came for me after all these. Ooh, what are these? They are very shiny. Mantis. Please say this is Mantis. Hey, over here. Ah, oh, Peter Quill. You're really here. It's been centuries. No, millennia. The name's Star Lord, baby. Oh. I see. Star Lord, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just, it's. Star Lord. Legendary outlaw. Oh god, don't make Mantis do this. Why does this never work? You may call me Mantis. Yes, I called it. Definitely not your mom. <laughs> oh pouty face. No. No. Oh, oh, there we go. Sorry. I was doing the pouty oh. face with him. Thank you. May I borrow that? Uh <clears throat> What? Your gun. It will only be for a moment. You know what? Why not? Uh, yeah, sure. What? I have another one. I have another one. Mm -hmm. She's a little pissed. Let her. Let her have her moment. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Here you go. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Everyone's a little confused. It's so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. Mantis. So is this post? You are truly the hero. No, this isn't post. Foretold. So brave and handsome. <laughs> Though perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! <laughs> you must have many questions for me. Uh. Why were you locked in here? So that you could find me. Why? Not very helpful. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the celestial one, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories, the ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I oh, know. That is not what I wanted at all. I am so sorry. I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. I... You're welcome. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Or no. not. No. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure. Oh, good lord. What the oh, fuck? This isn't going to go well. A little antenna to do it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Inside joke. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. Oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. <laughs> who should we try on first? Drax. Yes, Drax. I got just the one. Yeah. <laughs> I am way too mean. Only because I'm thinking of the second movie. See, this doesn't make sense. Is the is the game not canon to the movies now? 
because you don't meet Manus until the second movie. What is this? Why are her head tentacles blown? The big blue tattoo man is filled with sadness. Yeah. What? No. He lacks direction. I do not lack direction. Only once have I required him. Now he is ashamed for his outburst. Mantis is an empath, Drax. She can sense your emotions. I do not show emotion! He's <laughs> also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? Please just trust her. For me. I don't Bonus trust still. people for other people. I trust people for I me. I am through? What do you mean? That totally makes sense. So how is the bug connected to all this? Oh, I can explain. Long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Kinda. Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like Good a job. giant turd and blah, blah, blah. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Star-Lord baby. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my love. I was taking a drink of water. Shut up. Eons ago. The Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance uh -huh. the life mm -hmm. energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, lightly. Fine, 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 fine. So I was brought in to ensure that the Forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Cree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated. Locked away until a time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom, maturity. Yeah, the, the Eternity Forge. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that beat. Hmm. What an interesting and relevant story. It kind of makes sense. Have we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm going to blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. <laughs> there is a legend of the Celestial One. The chosen one who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. I like her clothes. Celestial one. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires. Yeah, I think you got the wrong guy here. I'm just a kid from Earth. It does not matter where you were born. It only matters what you do. You are the Celestial One, Peter. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is limited right now can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated <sighs> I am through ah that explains Hala's delightful corpse collection she'll bring them all back if she gets the forge fantastic so it's incredibly useful to our worst enemy but useless to us it can be made more useful how the Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power. Or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? The 
returning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined, though I do not know why. That seems ill-advised, but it is Peter's decision to make. You can bring back anyone? Like, anyone at all? Anyone who ever existed can be brought back, so long as you have the required energy, of course. One life for one life. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. And let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right now. Hollow wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not him. until my family is returned I to me. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, hey, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. You mistranslated Groot. On purpose. How long have you been doing this? I just slipped out. If this was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. <laughs> so, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. Wow. Uh, okay, this is, uh, <laughs> it's a lot to process here. Kind of heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's, let me think on it. <laughs> Well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's you. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so... Doing this right, or it is easier if you don't talk. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not, uh, not talking. Uh, I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew, their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance, help them. Yeah, honestly, that, that, that's a lot of power. Uh, let's start with Drax. Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that... But now, I am hopeful. The Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You had no right to have the antenna woman do that to me. Aww. You did not even ask my permission. Mantis was just doing what I asked. But that is all on me, buddy. I'm sorry. I accept your apology. Because you are too feeble-minded to know any different. Hey! She told me I was afraid. I do not like to feel afraid. Such feelings bring me great shame. But talking to you, a frequently <laughs> scared person, has helped. Yeah. Anytime, Drax. Okay, I gotta make sure. Why am I talking to Groot? I can't understand hey there, Groot. Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. But I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens at the forge. I am Groot. Now I gotta talk to Rocket. Talk to Rocket. There we go. Hey bud, what's up? Well. It ain't Captain Indecision. What are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. 
I mean, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love. I am Groot. And what happens if Hala gets a hold of it, huh? This falls into the wrong hands, the whole galaxy is screwed. The whole galaxy is already screwed. It's always screwed. You think if we destroy this thing, that'll make a difference? Ah, the only ones you're screwing are your so-called friends. Rocket. You know what, Pete? I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. It should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. Lila would be ashamed of me right now. You saw one damn memory of her. You're talking like you knew her? Go to hell, Pete. Only this time, don't come back. I am Groot. You can both go to hell. He's really drunk. Well, that's one way to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Fine. 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 Uh, which one do I have to talk to? Hey, oh. Are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while. Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know. I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe... Maybe if we had more time. I could try talking to her again, when she's calmed down. Give her some space, without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe I can get her to hang around. Just, maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. <laughs> He's like, she's like, you need to go handle her. Okay, ooh, I gotta go talk to Nebula. Come here. Um. Hey, Nebula. Yeah. Uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Oh, man. You were awesome. And you only had one arm. Well, yeah. Nice to know someone appreciates my skills. Gamora never could. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Yes, get over here with the fucking forge. Now, please take my hand. 
If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. I just have to aim? Okay. So now we get to see that mission again, but from her side. That's kind of different. I don't think this worked like that. Is everything all right? What's going on? <sighs> Thanos wants to talk to you. Oh. To me? Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. But I cheated, father. I didn't win on my own merit. That was not cheating. Gamora made a mistake. You took advantage of that mistake. Something any skilled warrior would do. There is something you must know about Gamora. She has told me that she does not believe you are ready for this mission. That you never will be. That's wrong. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I know she's been difficult, but Gamora won't fail you, father. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior. And only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Father, I need Gamora. She's my teacher. And my sister. You underestimate yourself, Nebula. This mission will prove that. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation Trying to get it. Is that the way? No, 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 no. I clicked it. I fucking clicked it. That is stupid. God damn it. We're going to do this shit again. How many quick times? Okay, just this one. Okay, this one. X. Okay, I see what I gotta do now. Are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me. 
I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Nebula. Father. You don't need Gamora anymore. And neither do I. If you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you- But Gamora doesn't die. Is it done? What's going on? What are you making him see? It wasn't over. She showed me your last mission together. I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own back. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some sassy Gamora, Gamora, I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh, yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing If me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm... pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. It's possible. I don't know what to believe. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do. Well, I'm not used to you saying anything I'd ever- Guys! Guys! S stop! You both want the same thing! He's... actually right. It happens. Sometimes. Uh-huh. More than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could... give each other a chance? All right. Yay! Family reunion! I love that movie. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna destroy it. Rocket will be pissed. Drax will be pissed. But Nebula good? Is this where they're gonna cut the fucking episode? And then we're gonna have episode four. Is it that was chapter five. God damn it. Or is this six chapters? I have to say this was really short if that was the case. Oh, no, we're gonna keep going. Well, if it isn't my favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> wow, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Now they're, like, totally chill with each other.
Thank you for talking to Nebula. It means a lot to have her here. It gives me hope. Uh, what are you... Okay. Ow! Hey! What? Oh, is that a dagger? Is it... Oh, you got a throwing star? There? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. I don't. <laughs> You're a good friend, Peter. Uh, hey, Pink. Uh, I threw some mean words your way back there, and I, uh... I just... I wanted to apologize, you know? So, yeah. Sorry about that. Just, uh... I got worked up, you know? Hey, don't even worry about it, man. Best friends forever? Eh, at least until death. It's close enough. <laughs> wow, you take great pride in yourself. For someone who is so sad. <sighs> you are a very nostalgic person. Oh, we made her cry. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, what's the matter? What? Why are you crying? Why am I crying? Oh, God. The little box. Oh, it makes me God. so much sound. <laughs> oh, oh, Drax. I'm sorry for that. Sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back onto others. Yeah, it's cool. <clears throat> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings, overly focused on the past, not living here in the now, experiencing all the wonderful things around you. Well, it's hard to let go of the past. Makes you who you are. I can see that. But I don't want to be defined by what came before. Everyone should be able to correct the course they're on. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better. And worse at the same time. I loved it. <laughs> the bathroom was I forgot that he got wasted. Oh god, that was good. That was episode one. If you don't remember, go back and watch that one because that was fucking hilarious. Uh... Nowhere. The decapitated celestial, the head of a decapitated celestial. Lila. I I get that he wants Lila, but. See, I don't want to bring everyone back. Oh boy, there's a lot of updates with this one. Uh. 
What could possibly go wrong, really? Nova Core. Nova Core again. Still awesome. What the fuck? He's still very dead. We should have just given him to the collector. Ah, uh, I don't want to go. Okay. Gamora. Gamonda. Uh, why they do? Uh, bad luck, yada yada yada. Okay, messages. Howard. Why did I go against the rooks? Oh. <laughs> I found myself in a bit of a wind fill and things are looking up. For once I ain't paying my ravagers. There's even enough to repulster my... <laughs> I knew we had even the... Uh, <laughs> Mounda. How does that core for me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I want to look at these because th some of these are new. I haven't... Hey, okay. Francis, can you direct me to that magic shrine thing now? Of course, but it is a long way, and I must concentrate completely. There can be no, there can be no distraction. Distractions. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> I'll decide to check my messages and what's going on.
know why I thought of that, but I did. Screwed. Oh, what's going on with my phone? The entrance to the shrine. See, they're not gonna... Is this where they're gonna cut it? This is it. Another temple! <sighs> the Kree were not only skilled warriors, you can find great symbolism in much of their architecture. Yeah, yeah, they like pretty things. We get it. Now what, Pete? Mantis? Any pointers? It appears the forge goes there, on the altar. Maybe. Seriously? Well, that was anticlimactic. Something's going on. <laughs> Much better. It's not working. Relic in place. Check. There must be something else to it. Hey guys, have a look around. I see it. I see looks... it. It's round right there. Very obvious. Very oh, obvious, right there. Because we're in a freaking Creed temple, where everything is always more complicated than it needs to be. I mean, ain't they ever heard of an on switch? We gotta turn that. Oh. There we go. <laughs> no, you were saying. Hey, Rocket. Tell Groot I need some help with the lens thingy. Okay, okay. I am Groot. Good job, buddy. That forge is gonna be resurrected in no time. I am Groot. I agree. He says you might destroy it. That he hopes you do. Is that really what he said? One more to go. Something oh. tells me it's not gonna be easy. So we need to find. Run, Peter. I need you to fucking... God damn. So, we need to find that little shield thingy. Nebula. So, uh... Are you glad you stayed with Gamora? Yes. I think staying close to my sister is what's best for both of us. I hope so. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the blame. 
So the voice actor for uh, Nebula is the same girl who did um, Serana from Skyrim, I'm pretty sure. Like, definitely sure. Sounds like her at least. I hope. So the third one. Okay. And that's. No, it's not. That's one. Click the wrong button. Anything? The forge led me here, but has grown quiet. How do you know I'll make the right choice about the forge? I do not know that. Oh. You are the wielder of the Eternity Forge. It chose you. You must trust there's a reason. Yeah. Okay. No pressure at all. So, what now? Repair the statues. Determine the fate of the universe. Oh, is that all? <laughs> Mantis. See, this isn't canon with the fucking movies anymore. But it's fine. about to seal the fate of the Eternity Forge. Yes. Your decision will leave you despised by much of the team. Good pep talk. Thanks, Drax. No matter what you choose. Yep, you can stop now. I'll just say I'm missing Gamora, so there's Gamora. I'll take it closer to the statue anyway. How's it going, Gamora? In a few minutes, we're gonna have to decide the fate of the Eternity Forge. Not we. You. For whatever reason, this is all in your hands. Look, I know you haven't really sided with me or taken any of my advice lately, but... The Forge is dangerous. You have to make sure no one can use it. Ever. Actually, that was my plan, but you know. Okay, let's see. This big guy used to stand here holding up that giant whatever it is thingy. Then things go bad. Age sets in. Oh no, I dropped it. Bah. So where did it go? Thank you. Hey! <laughs> it is a hologram. You are so stupid. Shut up. I knew that. God damn, it did go this way. What now, Celestial One? Jet boots overheated. Drax, I need your muscles. You cannot have them. They are attached <laughs> to me. Hell, I know they. Uh, I need your help. I've got to lift something very heavy. Ah, I see. You are weak. I will help you. I am ready. Good. I was saying, is he even going to be able to lift it? There we go. Rocket, I need you to grab that lens. Ah, 
Getting crushed to death ain't on my list of to-dos, Pete. I'm sure if you just reach really hard, you, you could get it. Maybe dislocating your shoulder or something? I cannot fail. Please, Rocket, I need you. Ah, all right. When I get smushed, I better be first in line for some resurrection. What the fuck? Here. Ah, uh, thanks. Interesting. Stop. Don't. <laughs> Just don't. But there is still no statue upon which to set it. I would have gotten the lens, guys. I was just, you know, working up to it. Yep. We just gotta, you know, work together. Oh, you mean like a team? What a novel idea. Yes, teamwork often brings good feelings. Hmm. Perhaps we are doing Ow. it wrong then. Okay, listen up. I need everyone over here. Nope, not gonna happen. Just a little higher. My arms can't go any Those higher. muscles are soft. Shut Can up. Guys, stop talking. Like a baby's bottom. Shut up. No! Stop throwing earth! I'm a very fat baby. Sorry. Hey, what do I know about whatever you are, anatomy? Idiots. Maybe your people enjoy having their faces stepped on. I can drop this thing. Uh oh. These freaking temples. I'm gonna take dynamite to all of them. Now it is truly time to decide. Turn the forge to the left to destroy it forever. Turn the forge to the right to empower it and bring it to its full potential. Okay. Wait, his right or your right? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. What? what? Well, let me see. Wow. I can't believe that almost happened. Turn it this way to destroy it. Turn it this... Yeah, we got it. Turn it to the right, Pete. It's left, Peter. You want your left. Peter, you must turn it left. No! It's right to empower you, idiot. I'm sorry. But this thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. We gotta destroy it. Thank you, Peter. I know you're upset. You don't but... know anything about me, lady. Perhaps she has never lost a loved one. She has only killed the loved ones of others. Rax! You don't talk like that to my sister. I will talk to Gamora in whatever oh. manner I please, robot. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? And what would you know about it? You're a freaking piece of wood! The process has begun. Anything. You can release I it. Am Groot. I can't even communicate on your own. Think I like translating for you every single I time? Am Groot. Now you're gonna start. Drax, back me up. You are all horrible people. No offense, Drax, but wisdom isn't your strong suit either. Guys, we got company. Thank you, Peter Quill. I never could have found this shrine without you. And the tracking device genes are placed on your ship. 
think you could get more annoying than that time you killed me? <laughs> you really suck. Their usefulness has expired. Dispose of them. Oh no. Not again. Gotta have friggin' hate that thing. Oh, I've had about enough of this. God, boots are more busted than I thought. Gotta try. Oh god, don't make me fly. How you like me now, huh? Oh god, I moved my hands. Perish to the depths, blue demon. Jax can fly now. They keep he adding. Can just let go, right? Why would he? <laughs> oh God! Did I do that right? Oh, I did. Stop the rodent! Big blue lady. Not the first time. <laughs> Intriguing. You let me have a minute. Sheesh. Now, where was I? Well, that was surprisingly easy. Hang on, buddy, I got you. <laughs> I'm sorry to have made you sad. Oh, we should do this more often. Looks like the boys could use some help. This won't be easy. Hope not.
okay. The Eternity Forge is mine. being destroyed so you can't undestroy it. Maybe. Still. It's done. The Eternity Forge is no more. Hope you're happy, Quill. You did what needed to be done. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Everything from me. I will destroy you and all that you love. Uh oh. Well, it's evil. The Eternity Forge was evil, though. We couldn't do it. Wait, how many chapters are in an episode? <laughs> like six? At the end it was the end so that is the end of episode three i don't know when see we did that right we did that right oh we defeated her see i kind of feel i don't know how i feel yeah um yeah they're kind of oh wow that was kind of actually close you guys really it's pure evil. I mean, if you have to kill in order to resurrect one person, one life for one life, you can't. <sighs> that I don't know. What's the next time on? My hands so are. Sarah manages to tag him along, but she's only creating more questions than answers. First about the Eternity Forge, about Hala, about everything. Janity of the galaxy. That's what we should be called. Hala and the Kree, well, they're just the latest cosmic spill. As much as he's wrong about almost everything he does, Peter was justified in his actions with the Forge. She agreed with me? I mean, huh, of course she did. <laughs> Can I get a copy of her saying that, please? <laughs> it's what happened next that he should regret. What's next? Are we going to get a little snippet? Because it's gonna probably going to be like three months before the next episode because that's how the developers are doing it. But they're releasing good content. So I can't complain. I mean, I can complain, but I can't complain. So that is it of episode three currently. We have... Oh, we're just going to have to wait. And that sucks. It sucks that we have to wait. It sucks that we had to destroy the forge because, you know, Rocket really wanted. <sighs> I'm cold. I mean, 
Jax wanted his wife and kid back. That's two lies. Rocket wanted his girlfriend back. That's another lie. Of course, Peter wanted his mom back, but the dead should stay dead. It's it's one of those. And then what we got for episode five? See, I don't know if Nebula survived. They didn't say that if she survived or not. She said she was okay, but we don't know. So that is it until the next episode comes out. I hope it comes out sooner rather than later because, like, you know, I don't want to wait two, three months again just to uh, have more content for this. I mean, I could have been doing it in chapters, but the chapters are not well known. Like, I didn't know the chapter ended until I got the achievement. So I can't really pause it. So it it's really hard for that. So I will see you guys in the next episode. I know this is a long, long episode, but I want to do the entire episode of it in one actual episode. I don't want I don't want to do one you know what I'm fucking talking about. So I will see you guys in the next next episode. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe.